In this tutorial, we will show you how to create a broadcast schedule for your station running Libre Time with different shows airing at different times during the week. This is intended for people who are program managers for the Libre Time instance, as they will have the appropriate permissions to do the tasks assigned on this. First thing you can do is log in. We'll use our program manager login that we have saved. Now once you're logged in, we will click the calendar on the left hand side of the screen. This will default to a month view. If you're looking at an empty calendar, then it's now your job to populate it with different shows. If you are an FCC license station or otherwise required to do top of the hour station IDs, it's the easiest way to accomplish this is to break up all of your shows into one hour segments. If you're doing a net base station you can break them into whatever logical segments you want based upon the time of the day. For the purposes of this tutorial we will create a new show that runs every day at noon. So we're going to click new show and we'll call it the noon news hour. Now we're going to go down here and click in the future. We'll click a date. We'll make it today since that is Monday. And then we'll type in 12. Or you could click it. It automatically defaults to one hour later. Now We want to show to repeat every weekday, excluding weekends, so we'll click the repeat button. Now, so we check the boxes down here between every day, between Monday and Friday. And then we'll click add this show. So evidently we have a show that is already set up between this time at some point in the future. And right there, it's Jim's show. This was from a previous setup. So we'll delete this instance and all following. Now we can click it. Now we have the noon news hour every weekday. So now you just need to repeat this until your schedule is full for 24 hours of the day. <laughs> so for the next segment of this tutorial, we're going to show you how to assign a DJ to a certain show. By default, only admins can create users, so if you aren't also an admin, you will need to reach out to an admin to perform this next step. So we will log in as an admin user to show you how to add users. So we'll go to settings, type in users, and then type in new user. Make sure you type the same password twice or else it won't work. And then you also need to put in an email. We'll just put in a fake email. Then we'll click DJ for the user type and click save. Now we're going to go back to the calendar and we're going to create a show for this DJ. And this will be a one off sometime in the future. Let's put it right o'clock at one o'clock aka oh we'll have it start at one o'clock we'll have it end at two this will be a one-off show and we'll click who and then we'll click news hour dude 
and then click up oh, see right here cannot have a duration greater than 24 hours we actually need to go back there click one it will not let you schedule multiple days in a row and then we'll click add this show so now later today you can see news guy radio So if we wanted to give News Guy Radio a weekly show, we could make it repeat, just like we did in the last one. And he takes Fridays off, he has a three day weekend, so and now you can see News Guy Radio broadcasting every day of the week, except for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is how you can create a show that can be scheduled by a DJ at your station. You might be thinking, wow, this is a lot of work. How are we going to possibly schedule 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? This is where the automation side of things comes in. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to use a feature we call auto-loading playlists, along with podcasts and smart blocks to automate the, sc automate the scheduling of tracks in your calendar and make your running to your station a lot easier. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, as always, you can go to discourse.libretime.org and post on the forum.